All beginner to novice level 9 ball players need to be aware of two facts. First, no one breaks and runs out on every rack. The highest recorded break and run percentage in tournament play was approximately 34%, which was done by Earl Strickland. Second, no one pockets a ball and gets a shot on the lowest numbered ball every time. In the course of a 9 ball match, players will be faced with a situation where they break, pocket a ball, and then they are left without a clear look at the lowest numbered ball as seen in this diagram. When faced with a situation like this, a player has some options. First, he could attempt a jump shot, or he could elect to play a kick shot. Under most official rules, a player also has the option to push. A legal push is played by relocating the cue ball to any place on the table without having to touch another ball or a rail. The player must announce his intentions before playing the push. The opposing player has the option to play the shot or make the player who executed the push play the shot. The push shot was designed to prevent a player from being punished by bad luck on the break. If it were not for the push, many opening rack layouts would result in a certain loss for the unfortunate breaker. The push is about taking an extremely low percentage shot and manufacturing a shot where there is a 40 to 60 percent chance that a shot will be made or a good safety can be laid. A good push shot turns the rack into a coin toss. If the player who pushes makes his opponent stop and think, he has done his job. One should never play a push shot that gives his opponent an easy shot or safety. It is for this reason that a player should attempt to ascertain the strengths and weaknesses of his opponent. A player should also be able to honestly estimate his own abilities when making a decision about how to push. To illustrate this, I offer the following diagram. I have just broke, two balls went down, and white is in the center of the table. But I am left with the following layout. I am hooked and cannot see the two ball. I am an extremely strong banker and my opponent has been struggling with banking to this point in the match. The likelihood of a safety is small due to the position of the rest of the balls. I choose to push to the position uh, shown here with the hopes of my opponent handing me the shot back and I will have a strong chance of making the two and having manageable position on the three. There are an infinite number of possibilities, more than I could review in a hundred videos. Although the wisdom of any given push is subjective, there are some things to look for that make for an easy decision. If faced with a layout where the nine ball is in the jaws, use the push shot to pocket the nine so it is not easy for your opponent. By rule, the nine ball will respot. If a good push is not available, and the table layout looks to be fairly easy, utilize the push shot to create a cluster that will make it more difficult for your opponent to run out. If an opponent is giving a handicapped, a player could use the push to move the money ball in front of a pocket for an easy combination. The push could also be used to create a cluster past your money ball. For example, if you're getting the seven, you could use the push to tie up the 8 and the 9. When considering a push, a player should keep in mind that creating a long distance shot should not be counted on as an adequate play. In most cases, you should lean towards accepting the push, especially if a manageable safety can be played. To develop the needed skills to execute a push shot, a player should practice speed control drills that include only moving the cue ball two feet or less. This video is not the final word on push shots. You should read more about it and observe how pros use the push shot in top level tournaments. There is a variety of nine ball called push nine ball where players have the option to push at any point during a rack. One of the greats of push nine ball is Jay Helfert. Jay Helfert, one of the most highly regarded members of the A to Z Billiards Forum, has recently published his autobiography called Pool Wars to hell and back with the world's greatest money players. Jay mentions Push 9 Ball in several places in his book. Jay's book will give you an interesting and entertaining look into the life and times of one of America's great road players. Jay also shares his experiences as a room owner, tournament director, and player backer. 
I've left a link in the sidebar where you can find out more about it. Jay always offers his advice to any question you might have regarding pool on the A to Z Billiards Forum. If you've enjoyed uh, this and other videos that I've made, please link it, share it, download it, uh, leave a comment and a rating. And as always, have fun playing pool.